Friday the 13th, April 13th, 2012. I'm Goddess Girl 2, and I'm going to show you three movies. 17 Again with Zac Efron, Real Geniuses, and Coyote Ugly. <clears throat> so let's get started with our first one called 17 Again. Excuse me, I'm kind of getting sick and my throat's drier than a molasses, so bear with me on this. So there is my 17 again. This is, um, Zach Eflon. With Zach Eflon, and he plays with, I think his name is Matt something or other, I'm not sure, don't call me on it. With his character. Basically, what happens is, if I remember correctly, he is getting a divorce, having trouble with his wife, and he remembers the time when he first met his wife and everything, and he realized, like, something happens, and he becomes a teenager again, and he can't be an adult again until he realizes what's right in front of his face of who he loves and why he loves her and and everything and the whole time he has two kids that don't even know it's him that it's their father and he's trying to help them out and then the daughter's like falling in love with her father it's kind of creepy but it's really good there's a scene in there where Zac Efron's character is like rubbing on some food and you can see it in the movie trailer it's so funny He's like, God, I'm just so hungry. I don't know why I'm eating this, you know, and it's just crazy. The older adult that's in the movie that he plays was in a TV show called Friends, if that helps. And I think you should check out 17 again because it's a really awesome movie, not just because Zac Efron's in it. Because a lot of people have said, oh, a lot of people are just going to go see this movie because Zac Efron's in it and he's so cute, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people are like, ugh, I hate Zac Efron. He's from High School Musical. I'm not going to go see this movie. And then some people are like, I'm going to get this, I'm going to buy this movie. Or some people are like, I'm going to see this movie. Because to me, it looks like a really good movie. Or some people look past that it's Zac Efron. A lot of people say you need to go see Seventeen again because, and then you explain it to them what it's about, and you don't tell them that he's in it. And then they're like, "Ooh, I want to check it out." And then you go and check it out, and then they're like, "Hey, Zac Efron's in." I said, "Would you have seen it if, if I told you Zac Efron was a part of this movie?" Well, mm, mm, well, no. Okay then. And are you enjoying the movie? Well, well, yeah. Like, see, just because a certain actor is in it that you hate. Or, or singer does not mean, excuse me, it does not mean it's a bad movie at all. It just, like, there's another movie where, um, it's on Disney, where these girls that look exactly like twins switch lives and, um, what's his face? Um, Dang it, I can't remember his name uh, all of a sudden. Timberlake. Justin Timberlake is one of the characters, and he's in it, and she falls in love with him. It's like, ugh, I hate Justin Timberlake, but every time the movie's on, I keep model behavior, I think it's called, and I keep wanting to go back to that, mo to that movie. Every time it's on, I keep wanting to watch it more and more. And it's because I like the movie, even though I don't like the actor, doesn't mean I can't like the movie. I actually enjoy it. So, stuff like that, you know. So if you see an actor that you don't like, don't think it's a bad movie. It might be a good movie. You never know. But it is kind of true about what I said about the new Fruit Loops. I may enjoy it more if Zac Efron was playing the part. But... I really got to see the new one as for what it was and the true value with him not in it. So, okay, 
Sorry I haven't been doing these movie DVD reviews lately. I've, like I've said, I've been busy and sometimes I just forget, so I might need a slap in the face and a reminder. I'm, you might need to go on my other channel if you know what it is and remind me, hey, you need to do a DVD movie review on Goddess Girl 2, and then I can be like, oh, okay. Well, you can message me here, go to my White Cats Like page and on Facebook and remind me. And it'll get me to do it. I've been dealing with this new red camera, which is on my other channel that you can watch me talk about. I'm still going all about it because of the panoramic view, and it's just awesome. Awesomeness. So my next one that I will be talking about, I was going to go in order and do 17 again. Real Geniuses and Cardi, I believe. But I don't know. I think I will. I'll go with Real Geniuses next. Um... Yeah, I'll go with that next. See if I can. I haven't seen it in a long time, so I don't know if I can remember it. Just to justify it for you guys, but we'll see. So I'll see you in a little bit with Real Geniuses. If you, if that title sounds like, ooh, that might be a good title to watch a movie. To watch that movie, you might you want to swing over there to that video and see what it's all about. But go see Seventeen again. It's an awesome movie.